Talk 92.1, welcome back on this Monday, and Jack is uh, correct with that lead-in music. Welcome back to the Scott James Matheson Show. Um, it does call for some blue skies today. More rain tomorrow, more rain on Wednesday, but today, and John, you spent a ton of time outdoors, what is 78 degrees in, in, in the end of January? 78 today. Well, you know, Scott, that that's called climate change. Oh, let's not get into that. Oh, uh, yes. Well, as a farmer and a tree farmer, I can tell you we're growing Satsuma oranges in South Georgia. That was not possible previously. Not supposed to happen. They do have a little thicker what, husk on them. The tree does have a little thicker bark. But uh, yeah. We're growing bananas in South oh, Georgia, but that was not possible goodness. previously. How about that? So, yeah, there, there is some kind of concrete evidence right there. I can, I can bring some for you next time. I can remember going back on um, 75, no, excuse me, uh, going back on um, the uh, turnpike, excuse me, and just being able to see what looked like somebody's lawn, a carpet over those rolling hills as you went uh, approaching Orlando. It was nonstop orange groves, and now it's mm -hmm. nonstop rooftops. And in Florida, the problem is oranges have diseases they didn't used to have because it's hotter. Yeah. So the orange you know, crop in Florida is in deep trouble, but now it's possible in South Georgia. Citrus canker was a, uh, just a devastating, absolutely devastating. So good luck with the Satsumas. I know some people dove in big time on them. Yeah, and unfortunately in South Georgia, the peach crop is typically in big trouble. Probably not this year because it did actually freeze, but that's the problem. It often doesn't get cold enough. Gotcha. All right, so 78 today, 76 tomorrow. Down to 72 by Wednesday, 56 the high by 